In this video, we finish wiring the sub-panel, and that's coming up next. The Control Panel Build Series brought to you in part by Electric Brewing Supply, supplier of turnkey control panels, complete DIY kits, as well as individual parts and components for your electric brewing needs. Use the link in the description below or visit them at ebrewsupply.com. How's it going? My name's Brian. I'd like to welcome you to the channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn more about electric brewing, see some more DIY how-to videos like this one and all other home brewing related stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss the next video. Not a lot to discuss in this video. I did want to bring up one thing though. I made a mistake. In the first video, I put the main power relay in backwards. Not a huge ordeal, but what it caused me to do was wire a couple of things incorrectly in this video. Fortunately, I've been collaborating with Ryan, showing him everything that I'm doing, and he caught it and I fixed it. But in this video, there'll be a couple of wires. Maybe you might, if you're paying close attention, you might catch on or in the wrong spot. I did fix those after filming this, and I'm going to review the wiring diagrams and how the wires are all laid out in the latter part of this video, and I'll just show you everything, how it goes through. So let's get to the wiring.
All right, so let's review the progress we've made so far. So we've got a couple neutral wires, and these are for the pumps. We've got another neutral wire that comes around to power the main power supply relay. We've got the two neutrals that go to both of the HLT and the boil kettle relays. We've also got another neutral that goes around to the e-stop and interlock connect circuit relay. Next, we've got the two pump connections. They're blue and purple wires, and those will go actually up to the control panel and connect to the switches up there. We've got the three grounds, one for the pumps and the other two for the twist lock receptacles. There's also a ground that comes out and goes to the box itself for the ground for the entire panel. The power wires that come off of the e-stop and run over to the control panel and those will be for the control for the on off switches and the, and the interlock circuit. We've got the power wire coming off of the 110 volt circuit breaker and that's going to run over to the power, uh, the key switch. Then we've got the pink wires that run from the interlock circuit and those run through the entire face of the control panel. So you've got one wire that goes this way and one wire that goes that way and those will actually connect through some of the components in the front of the panel. We've also got the two wires that run the 220 volt lights and those are both the same color because you're running the lights off of 220 volts so both of those will make the connection. There won't be a neutral for that connection so those are all wired that way. We've also got the power wires that run over to the control panel. We've also got the two control wires for the HLT and boil kettle relays and those will actually go to the three-way switch that controls these. You've got the neutral on this side to make the connection then the power side will come in here and that's what, what will actually switch these on and off. I have not discussed a lot about making these connections with crimping the wires and stripping wires. I've actually got a video that explains a lot of that and I'll put a card up over here so you can go take a look at that if you want some information on about stripping wires and putting in connectors on them. And that pretty much sums up the progress so far. Up next we will start working on the front face of the control panel with all the buttons, switches, lights, PIDs, all that good stuff. Well, I hope you found this video helpful in building your panel. The techniques and tips in this video will apply pretty much across the entire spectrum of all the panels that Electric Brewing Supply sells. If you did find it helpful, share it out there. Uh, maybe somebody that you know is interested in electric brewing would like to see it and it would help them. As always, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Be on the lookout for comments down below from Ryan with Electric Brewing Supply. He said that he would comment and, and give a few pointers and tips in the comment section below. And as always, check out the description of the video for anything that I might have missed or some detail that may be pertinent to this particular video. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you.